everybody welcome to 54 nights we are at Fort Cobb State Park and she's making fun of me she always makes fun of me every time we do a video she makes fun of me you're just fun I don't have to make fun of you yeah this state park is I don't know about an hour hour and a half away from the house west of the house we've I've played golf out here years ago. There is a golf course here, by the way. I played golf out here years ago. We've taken road trips on the motorcycle out here. You know, back when the kids were growing up, we'd throw the grill in the trunk of the car and go somewhere and the just, day trip. just have a little day trip picnic and play around. We've done that out here. Uh, so we've been here before, never camped out here. So this is our first trip out here camping and really to spend any significant time here. I like the, I, we're at the Catfish Cove Loop. There's three, four loops. One of them is over by the golf course. Um, That's a really nice tent site along the lake. Really, yeah. really nice. Yeah, along the whole eastern shore of the lake, there's a dirt road that goes along that shoreline, and there are tent sites between the road and the lake. So you get lakeside primitive camping and it is awesome mm -hmm. i mean it really is awesome it makes me want to throw the tent in the motorcycle and come out here for, for yeah, a night it, or two it was, especially on a weekend like this it was nice and cool yeah yeah and um, cool may weekend like how weird is that <laughs> yeah in oklahoma yeah. Yeah, it, it it was busy this weekend. Um, I don't know. It was beyond busy this. I weekend. don't know that there was an empty RV site. I don't recall seeing an empty RV site while we cruised through here. Was the one straight behind them? Maybe. Yeah, maybe one. Maybe <laughs> one. Um, matter of fact, it was difficult finding an RV site in the state of Oklahoma this weekend. Um, it's it's a little tight but it doesn't it, it's doesn't it's not it doesn't feel tight mm -hmm. um, the the campsites are at an angle and so when I'm looking out the front door of the camper I don't see our next door neighbors camper mm -hmm. which is a big deal I mean it, it 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 brings that feeling of confinement when you open your front door and even when you look out the back you only see the back end of a camper yeah Where, can you see that does it focus? Yeah. yeah. So it's not somebody's like front porch that you're looking at. It's really nice. Yeah, I, I, I like it. Um, I think it would be really fun if it wasn't very busy. I yeah. think it'd be. Well, I, and, and and there's a part of me that enjoys busyness, and enjoys the the people at the campground, just the the whole atmosphere atmosphere of, of it. 
I enjoy that. I enjoy going out after dark, stepping out on my front porch and seeing camp camp, yeah. campfires and people with their tacky lights and just gathering I, around I like and having the kids a good time. Out, out, the ones that were out here that yeah, were out yeah. and playing. Yeah, and just, they got there was like two or three campers. I guess kind of got together, families and yeah, it, it was kids laughing and stuff. It, it, it was a lot like that this weekend, and it was I enjoyed it. Um, the there were tent sites open. There were quite a few tent sites open. Of course, uh, being being the climate the with the pandemic and everything, a lot of people didn't know that tent sites were open again. Well, so. some people may not have wanted to use the community bathrooms and stuff, so that might have been part of it too that they didn't yeah. want to. Um, they have a golf course here at Fort Cobb. Um, of course, fishing and Water activities are probably the main thing out here. I don't, I don't know if there's any hiking trails at all out here. I didn't see any mm -mm. on, and and, and with uh, you know, Oklahoma State Parks have gone exclusively to online reservations, uh, so you have to make even tent sites you have to make a reservation for, but you can make them an hour in advance now, which uh, used to you had to do it had to be no sooner than five days out but since they've gone exclusively to reservation only um, you don't get the the map you don't have the park ranger doesn't come around collecting your money and give you a map of the park um, kind of have to go to the visitor center for that and of course we couldn't go to the visitor center because of COVID-19. But so online reservations actually worked out really well for this virus thing. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, I don't like exclusively online reservations, um, but... Right now it's a good thing, because people I mean, are going just, into a little office without their... Something we got to get used to. Um, thanks. I like this state park. We will likely be back to this state park since it's only an hour and a half from the house. Um, it's a little bit of a rough road to get here, <laughs> yeah. but it's enjoyable. We'll, we didn't bring our paddle boards this time because the water's still a little cool. And It was pretty I mean, windy too the day we came yeah, out. Yeah, the day we came out, the, the wind was howling. But, we did take a. We did ride our bikes down that dirt road. It was about three miles to it. What? Yeah, two and a half miles of that dirt road with tent sites. I, I can't get over the tent sites. Mm -hmm. They they are just awesome. And I mean, there's they, an empty field on the other side of that dirt road. So yeah. that's you've got a lake on one side, and then you've got the empty. A lot field. of tree covered tent sites. Mm -hmm. Some of them are out in the open. Others are. You got tree cover. They've all got picnic tables. You know the con the concrete picnic tables. So, of course, you're not. They are primitive sites, but mm -hmm. I mean they're they're cool. I mean, they are really neat. Wake up right there by the lake. Yeah. I like that. Um, Catfish Cove. A lot of a lot of RV sites here. Our site was 30 amp water, no sewer hookup. Um, believe they do have some full hookup sites not a whole lot it is the pedestal looks like this is an older campground so anyway it was fun we'll be back it's not the best place in the world but it's good enough for us to come back to I mean mm -hmm. so that, I guess that's about it we enjoyed it yep. the, the dogs got burrs all in them can you see burrs it's all in your face <laughs> yes. but I guess that's it we'll catch y'all down the trail